So one thing I think we can all agree on in Dragon Ball is that outside of their fight with Majin Buu, Goten and Trunks really don't do much of anything besides be errand boys for the Dragon Balls. A lot more can be said about Trunks than Goten, however, being the son of Vegeta, Trunks was much more inclined to training growing up and he has usually always been the stronger of the two boys. But Goten grew up with Chi Chi and without Goku for the most part so training daily wasn't really hammered into him and he usually had to train with Gohan either behind his mom's back or with her restricted permission. However, this is a continuation of a story by Young Gigi called Dragon Ball AF and up until this point, the series of events that have been taking place after GT have led to the death of Gohan's daughter Pan and because of this, the use of the Dragon Balls would be required one more time but with Goku's life force being the only thing sealing even stronger negative energy within the Dragon Balls, when the dragon is summoned, shadow dragons with strength even beyond that of Omega Shinron have been born. The Z Fighters however have been training in preparation for this battle and now, it's Goten's turn to show us how far he's come with his training. If you want to keep up with more awesome stories just like this one, be sure to go join the Dragon Ball Fan Manga Facebook page down below and subscribe here for more. So we start out with Kibito Kai and Giru, and they're using the Dragon Radar to locate the Shadow Dragons. Once the first one has been located, Kibito heads off to intercept him, but it seems that the dragon has already made it into a city. This is one of the new Shadow Dragons, and this guy might not look too scary, but every single one of these new Shadow Dragons is said to be more terrifying than Omega Shinron. But even when Kibito shows up, by the time the dragon realizes what happened, Kibito has already teleported him to the fighting grounds, and the first thing the dragon notices is this odd shift in gravity. Behind him, Goten has appeared, and something seems a little different about him. He seems a lot more confident than usual. Goten asks what wish he was born from because all of the shadow dragons were created from certain wishes that were made. This dragon however says that he was created when the wish to revive everyone that was killed by Cell was made which gives us a little bit of context on just how long this evil energy has been festering. Back on the planet of the Kais, the Elder Kai is anxiously watching over the fighting arenas from afar and behind him we see what kind of toll acting as the seal for the evil energy of the Dragon Balls has taken on Goku, but now it's everyone else's time to fight because he needs saving as well. When Goten's fight begins, he actually looks to be taking the dragon off guard with his speed and aggression, but when they clash, it doesn't seem that the power gap is in Goten's favor. However, for now they seem to be at least evenly matched. They go back and forth for a bit until Goten decides to turn it up a notch and he releases a Kamehameha into the air directly at the dragon. It would seem that whatever training Goten did has paid off in increasing his base power but his attack is easily shrugged off. However, both of these guys seem like they're only getting warmed up. Goten is the aggressor once again for round 2 but he's met almost immediately with a full scale attack by the dragon at close range that engulfs him and the entire wasteland in the blast. Goten however has not only increased his power immensely but his speed as well as he appears behind the dragon now after dodging that attack. He says that it appears that training in the hyperbolic time chamber seems to have been the right choice as this difference in gravity on this planet pretty much replicates the training he did under times 10 normal gravity. But fortunately it doesn't seem like the dragon is used to the difference in gravity yet. Or at least that's what it would have seemed like if he was being serious from the start but now that the dragon is finally ready to fight Goten seriously, he starts powering up. While this drastic power increase is enormous, Goten just smirks. He says that if that's the case then he'll get to fighting seriously as well and while Goten has never shown the ability to ascend before, after powering up we get our first look at a mastered Super Saiyan 2 Goten. Once they're both fighting at full power, Goten rushes the dragon in an attempt to end the battle quickly but as the fight goes on, the gap in speed starts to slowly close between the two as we see Goten beginning to lose. Goten is starting to get backed into a corner and he's even looking a bit exhausted. Once again he goes for a Kamehameha but this time the dragon is more than prepared to meet him with an attack of his own and his is on a much larger scale from the looks of it. Goten throws his all into a Super Kamehameha and the two clash with 
what seems to be the deciding exchange. Neither side seems to be budging as both Goten and the Shadow Dragon have expelled extremely large portions of their energy. But instead of one side dominating the clash, the two blasts cause an explosion and all that remains of the fighting arena is a crater. These two guys have used up pretty much all of their energy at this point and Goten is beginning to realize not only how strong his opponent really is, but how important his victory in this situation is as well. All these years, they've gotten so used to relying on the Dragon Balls to get them out of whatever trouble they might be in, but this time, in the worst of situations, they must learn how to make things work on their own. This is when Goten, heavily resembling not only his father, but his brother Gohan as well, seems to draw upon a, a hidden energy from the need to save his friends and family as he remembers why they're doing all of this in the first place. For Pan. And since they have made this decision to release the Shadow Dragons on the Earth, now the entire universe is in need of his protection as well. Goten somehow pours all of his remaining energy and then some into his fist for one last attack which will certainly be the end for one of them. And then, Goten does something completely unexpected. In homage to his father Goku and with the fate of his friends and family resting on his shoulders, Goten performs a super dragon fist explosion. And while he does connect with his target, the shadow dragon is still fighting back somewhat. But then, like we've seen Goku do many times before, Goten digs deep inside himself to gain just a bit more power in order to save those dear to him and he pierces straight through his target with a mighty dragon fist. And with that, the 5 star dragon is no more. Even though that was without a doubt the toughest fight Goten has ever had, by following the examples of his father's legacy, he has been able to become strong enough in order to protect those dear to him. But there are still 5 dragons left since Trunks has already fought as well. That's gonna do it for this one guys. I hope you all enjoyed it as usual of course. I know things have been kind of slow lately but I've been going through some things IRL so I do apologize about that. I'm definitely trying to make some changes in my life so we can get back to our anime grind heavy. Hopefully this video turned out a little longer for you as well. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for longer content. I'm definitely trying to mix in some longer videos with a lot of the shorter ones that we do. I know a lot of our videos are around like four to five minutes. Uh, I'm not really too sure how long this one's going to end up. I was aiming for maybe like six, seven minutes. It might be longer, might be shorter, who knows. But let me know what you guys think of Super Saiyan 2 Ascended Dragon Fist Goten, whatever you want to call them down below in the comment section. I personally am a fan of what Young GT did with Goten in the story. Um, I'm just gonna go out and say it, I really don't like Goten as of Super. I was a fan of Goten in Dragon Ball Z, but when Dragon Ball Super came around, I, I really just wasn't a fan of what they did with Goten and Trunks. Like I said, I was a huge fan of Goten in Dragon Ball Z, but then when Super came around, and Lord, don't even get me started on Dragon Ball GT Goten. But it's great to see Goten actually doing something for once. Even if this is just a fan manga, seeing Goten in this light, you know, he's taking his training seriously. He put on a lot of muscle and just overall, I feel like in this story, he's not falling behind Trunks too much. Now, if you haven't seen or you haven't read the rest of the story, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but Trunks is still just a little bit stronger than Goten. But like I said, I won't spoil it for you. If you want to read it for yourself, I'll go ahead and link the manga down below as always. But this fight is definitely one of my favorites that we've covered on the channel so far. And I'm actually thinking about doing either a top 5 or a top 10 video on the Dragon Ball fan mangas because I get a lot of questions about where can I read more of these even though I do link the Facebook and the Facebook is literally where I get all of the fan mangas from um, if I don't I usually link like the DeviantArt or the official website for that manga but usually all of them come from the Facebook but I'll go ahead and throw together either a top 5 or a top 10 video for you guys just to compile you know all of the best in my opinion the best fan mangas that I've either found or that we reviewed on the channel before and if you've written a dragon ball fan manga that you might like a few more people to see you can send it to me either on twitter or you can contact me from my business email which is in my bio on the channel but but that is gonna do it for this one guys seriously this time i feel like i've been talking for like 25 minutes but we did get a longer video out today i hope you all enjoyed it leave your thoughts down in the comment section below don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already have a great great day and i will see you all in the next one bye guys